come from a city that gave us Quincy Jones, Shaka Khan, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Quincy Jones is from, Quincy yep. Jones is from Chicago. Yep. Oh, yes, man, I is. didn't know that. Minnie Ripperton, Lou Rawls, Bo Diddley, Soul Train. How did house music become the soundtrack of Chicago? We just started making it, man. It was because of uh, the song on and on that Jesse Saunders and Vince Lawrence made. Uh, Jesse was a well-known DJ in Chicago, and he just up and made a, a record, right? Records, the, make him actually making a record was key, right? Uh because in Chicago, we also had this music called Steppin' Music, right? Never made out of the city because there were no records. Right. House music made it out of the city because we started making records, right? So, uh, you know, anybody from Chicago, you ask them what Steppin' Music is. Oh, yeah, I know what Steppin' Music is, but never left the city because there were no Steppin' Records. So house music made records, and that was uh, down at... Uh, Jesse Saunders and Vince, Jesse Saunders and Vince Lawrence making that very first song uh, that got everybody started. Now, a lot of a lot of us say, uh, "Yeah, well, I started House Music." I said, no, it was Jesse Saunders and Vince Lawrence. They, they, they made the first record. Without that first record, nobody else would have made a single record out of Chicago. So that was key. Uh, the actual record when I when I went to that music store. Uh, and the guy told me I could play like Stevie, Stevie Wonder. I said, oh, wow, I could do like Jesse Saunders and make records, right? Ding! If Jesse Saunders hadn't made records, it wouldn't be in, it wouldn't be in my stratosphere. You know, I, I, it wouldn't be in my reality. I wouldn't even thought, of, thought about making records, right? So that's, uh, that's why I spent all that money on that equipment, 